Last week we finished our first road trip down the Atlantic coast of France. We made a challenge to ourselves to make it the best summer road trip we had ever done. This is our step-by-step -step guide to travel the Atlantic coast of France. We can go Step one, organize some friends, your partner, or your family to get ready for the trip of a lifetime. Step two, make your way to the Atlantic coast of France. We recommend starting north and heading south. We started in Fee Camp, which is the start of the Normandy Cliffs. We made it to our park for the night at Fee Camp and it's pretty impressive. Take time out after your drive to relax and enjoy the amazing ocean views from the top of the cliff. Enjoy a picnic or a barbecue and watch the sunset with a local French beverage. Cider is very big in this region of France, so try your best to find the best cidery close by. Bright and early the next day to pick some fresh wild berries to add to your breakfast. You'll notice berries growing everywhere. Find a park on the Seine River and enjoy a unique view with your breakfast. Continue on to the beautiful historic town of Honfleur. As you arrive, you'll find plenty of parking within walking distance of the main old town. Head towards the port to get a great view of the old city and all it has to offer. streets to find the best food and drinks of the region and don't forget to treat yourself with a delicious macaroon from a local patisserie. So I like your flavoured macaroon, very good, very good, very impressive. Head towards Omaha Beach and pay your respects at the American World War II Memorial Cemetery. While in Normandy, you have to visit a cidery and of course sample some of the best ciders France has to offer. Continue on to one of the most amazing castles you'll ever see in your life, Le Mont Saint-Michel. It completely blew us away at how beautiful it truly is. We recommend heading over at sunset to enjoy it in its most beautiful state. Wake up early the next morning and roam the streets of Lamont Saint Michel by yourself. Generally, people won't start arriving till about 9am. While driving long distances, you'll soon realise carpool karaoke is a must. We like to think of the next stops as the hidden gem of France, St. Malo and Dinard. We recommend at least a day in each to make sure you don't miss out on anything. The 
coastal walks around Brittany are one of the most breathtaking in France. Take a short drive and you'll arrive at Cape Fred. Not a must-see, but definitely worth the trip. Just around the corner, you'll arrive at Urquhart, a beautiful fishing village along the Brittany coastline. Try your hardest not to get caught in a crazy storm, but if you do, just enjoy it. We're just walking back and a big storm comes in, whipping up the sand. Stay the night in Puriskuric, which is further along the coast. Look at how clear this water is. It's stupidly clear. Unbelievable. Get up early and make the most of your day. We recommend doing a coastal walk from Tregestal to Plowmar, and this will ensure you see the most of the pink granite coast. Our next stop is Crozen. This is a stop you can't miss. The water is crystal clear and you'll be surrounded by forest. We parked just outside the town where we weren't disturbed by anyone. A hundred metres away was a famous coastal walk along the water's edge, which is a must do. The owner gives free tours of his winery and free wine tasting of all his wines. We do recommend you buy at least one bottle and support his business as he supports us travellers. The cheapest bottle is about €4, Euro, which really isn't that much. Drive along a beautiful route by the coast to arrive at our next stop, La Rochelle. This was one of our favourite stops and a place we will definitely be going back to. Streets of Old Town, enjoy Game of Batong and don't forget to watch the sunset from the port banks. As you continue down the coastline, try not to get lost and end up on a ferry outside of ruin to God knows where. it takes us across the mouth of the Laragond River. Continue down the coast to a place of vineyards, surf and beautiful fountains. Yep, we are talking about Bordeaux. Explore the city before heading out to find a beautiful vineyard to park for the night. Back up early and head towards Junji Plat, which is the biggest dunes in Europe, spreading out 2.7 kilometres and 106 metres tall. Make sure you climb to the top of the dune and admire the magnificent view. You have to stay active and do a sneaky workout when you can. Today we are heading to Hosiga. So we've got about 40 minutes to go on our trip. And we'll hopefully get there and we can relax this afternoon. Hosiga is the surf capital of Europe, so it's a no-brainer that you have to go and check out the beach and take a surf lesson. Be careful because sometimes the waves can be huge. I had a bit of a 
fanboy moment this afternoon. Down at the beach at Hossegat and about four professional surfers on the QS and the, uh, the World Tour over there. corner from Hosiga is Baritz, our last stop on this epic road trip. Beautiful beaches and hidden coves are all around, so explore the coastline and have the time of your life. No, it's just the way that we